What's up, YouTube? What's going on, LOM community? All right, all right. So, just to give you an idea of where we're at, we are at the, well, it's not the terminal. Well, it is a terminal, but it's not my company's terminal. It used to be my company's terminal back in the day before they moved, but we are here at the yard, the drop yard. I had a load, or should I say we had a load that was uh, up in PA that came back. Oh, I got to walk around. I wonder do I got my keys. Yeah, I got them. They came back from, uh, or yeah, they came back from PA. I, I dropped it in PA, and now I'm coming back from PA to the yard. Tomorrow, we got to go up to the terminal and get the new uh, ELD system put into our trucks. Now, what we had before is a totally different driver e-log system, but now we got to go to full ELDs, and we have to be in compliance by December. So now they want me to bring my truck in, uh, get it looked over so they can install the system. And my fleet manager said it'll take about, about four hours. So that'll give me enough time to edit this video that we're on right now and uh, get finished editing it and hopefully uh, get it uploaded to YouTube so I can schedule it to be posted. So that's the plan for tomorrow. But for today, for today, we have another subscriber slash Facebook questionnaire for you guys to enjoy today. So me and myself is going to present it to you. All right. So let me go ahead and take care of some things. I'll make it back to the truck where my other self is at and we'll get into the uh, into round two of the Facebook slash subscriber questionnaires for you guys. Hopefully these videos help you out. You know, I, I gear these videos towards the new jacks versus the veterans because these videos are questions that you guys are really really looking for all right so give me a minute i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm gonna like that in the winter time but anyway all right so check it out so before we head back over to the truck and see what myself is doing in there nine times out of ten myself is probably getting ready for the uh for the uh, podcast or setting up the video in the back. I get everything set up for our, for the, uh, for my little video slash podcast that I'm doing. It's a little bit behind the scenes. Let you guys see what, uh, see what I do to set everything up. And, uh, and yeah. We will uh, set everything up. Takes a lot of time to put up the green screen, set up the other monitor, set up the computer, set up the mic, all that good stuff back there. So that's what myself is doing over in the truck right now. A while we're coming back from dropping the paperwork off in the office so I was uh, watching a YouTube video of this youtuber and I am subscribed to her so you guys once I mention her name make sure you go and subscribe to her she's good people's man I've been knowing her for uh, for I'll say about a couple of years now you know what I'm saying you know, she came on my YouTube channel. She subscribed to me back in the day. Uh, she, you know, chatted up with me in the comments below. And then, you know, we kind of took things outside of YouTube and got to know each other a little bit better. So with that said, 
my girl Shape World, Shape World 15, what's going on? I caught her video, which I'm gonna, which I'm gonna reference right quick because I, I think this would probably be good for new jacks because it happened to everybody. It even happened to me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you guys wanna know, like when you back up to the truck or back up to the trailer, right? And all of a sudden, you back all the way up and you jump the kingpin. And you're gonna wanna know what to do. You're like, yo, how am I gonna get from up under here? I'm stuck, yada, yada, yada. Y'all wanna know how to do that, right? Well, that happened to my girl Shape right quick. Oh, what do you do when your silly ass bags pass the damn thing? All right, y'all. We're going to school today. Okay. My ass. You see that? Why are people going to fix all of it? I'm bad at shit, right? The first thing you need to do is crank this bad boy up. Unfortunately, what you're going to do, you're going to put your glove right there and you're going to tilt your fifth wheel downward so you can get underneath the kingpin. See how you can get from underneath it. Uh, that's what it says. Uh, you don't need a man to come help you. You don't need to panic. But it's my new drivers. Just not coming out. There's something that Maybe your trainer may not show you because they probably just be gonna say things about you driving over and over again. Man, it is cold out there. Ah, I couldn't even tell you. Yo, man, what you doing up there? I see you came back from uh, dropping off the paperwork. What you doing? Nothing. Just uh, going over some Facebook Q&A questions and uh, some subscriber questions that came through uh, in the comments and uh, on Facebook. Oh, yeah. I did a Q&A video a while back. Well... It wasn't a while back. It wasn't that long ago that I did a Q&A video. You guys could check that out. You know, it's in the, it's, I probably might link that in the description below. Word? Okay, well, here's some, uh, here's some new questions that came through. Uh, you want to go, you want to go through them together? We can, we can do this together, you know. What? Me and myself up there? You, you want to do a Q&A session together? Yo, I think this would be a good idea, man. Some good content, some just a playful, you know, something to switch up the, the channel. I'm liking these, man. I'm, I'm liking when you was involved in, uh, in uh, plenty of my videos. This is what, the third, fourth, fifth video? Fourth, third, I don't know. Yeah, I think this would be cool, man. I mean, this something something new, something different, you know what I'm saying? Try to, you know, try to give some of our, our subscribers and some of the viewers something different, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, let's, uh, let's, let's me and you do it together, you know what I'm saying? All right, man, again, like I said, I hear you. I like how we get, I, I like how we got this vibe thing going. So, yo, let's get into this video right quick. All right, man, let's do it. Let's get into these question and answer session right here. This is round two. You know, my guy, 
right guy right here, you know, he did the first round by himself, but now he got me and myself. Uh, here we go. Let's get into it. The first question is, uh, I'm not sure who is it from, but the first question is, when you apply for a new company, does the old company safety record, safety accomplishments, etc., consider or is there no way to verify that? I don't know, bro. I, I think there is a way to verify that. You know, there, there should be a way to verify anything that the company could, could want to know about you. So if you have any accomplishments, if you have any safety issues, if you have any experience, the company that you're applying for can verify that they they will be able to verify that now as far as as far as your accomplishments you know maybe you can you know list off the accomplishments that you that you can give them but i'm sure that the company that you're applying for when they go to call the company that you're coming from i really don't think that any company not just trucking companies is going to run off any of your accomplishments like say for example you was a good truck driver you ran this many miles or that many miles or whatever whatever you know sometimes a company wants you either a let go from a company b uh you resign from a company i really don't think that particular company is in a position to even tell anything about you other than the fact that you work there and how many years you work there because you know they they can't they can't deframe or say anything bad about you because of, of of the situation that they might be you know that they might get into so as far as safety records and stuff like that i'm i'm, I'm sure that the company can uh they can verify that for real but uh as far as your experience they going to the company that you're going to and they ask them like how long you've been working there uh, how long you've been driving there they're gonna have to give up that type of information so so yeah i think there's a way that uh that they can verify any and everything that you probably want to tell so you don't think that you you do think there's a way to uh verify that huh yeah the companies the companies do verify they they can verify it they can verify it all right so the next one is uh where would a driver go if they want to get back into trucking Drivers have, driver has been out of it for four years. Small issues on MVR, nothing major. Petty NYC crap. Turns, parking, etc. cetera. Uh, has NY license. Lived and worked in NYC for four years. Doesn't, doesn't want to drive the truck in the Northeast though, even though he lives in New York. Must keep his NY license though. What companies would you recommend? Not Swift or US Express? Well, bro, uh, you know, for that particular answer to that question, and by the way, all these is just my opinion. They're not, you know, they're not facts or anything like that. They're just my opinion based on the, the questions that's being asked. And this is something that I, I will probably do if I was in his situation. But uh, he's, you know, he, you say he been in, he been driving for four years, right? So, or no, no, no. You say he's been out of it for four years. So yeah, I, I think if he still have his license, if you, if you still have your license and you still have your commercial license, and you've been out of the business for a long time, you definitely gonna have to go back and get some training, all right? These companies is gonna want you to at least a year, year at the, a year at the most with some companies, maybe more, that they're gonna want you to at least have, you know, at least been driving for at least six months or more. If you haven't been driving for six months or more, then you're gonna definitely have to go back in and get your training, bro. You're gonna have to go back in with a uh, with a driver trainer. And um, and I see that I I see that you said you don't want Swiss uh, Swiss. You don't want Swift and you don't want U.S. Express. But 
you know, I don't think no no smaller companies is going to give you that opportunity to drive one of their big rigs without knowing that you can drive one of their big rigs. So you're going to have to go back out there, bro. You're going to have to go back out there. You're going to have to get your training. You're going to have to go out there with a driver trainer again and um, spend a couple of weeks with them just to make sure that you can drive, you know. So... Uh, I, in my in my opinion, you you're just gonna have to get back out there, and I I believe major companies or major trunking companies like Swift, like U.S. Express, is probably gonna be the only places or only companies that's gonna give you your opportunity to uh, get out there and do the damn thing. Now you definitely don't want to drive the Northeast. I feel you. I don't want to fuck with the Northeast either. I. I can't stand the Northeast <laughs> or New York for that matter. So I feel you. But if you go, if if you've been gone for over four years and coming and coming back in, you might not have no choice but to go to. I mean, but to go where the trucking company tells you where to go to. Yeah, you know, U.S. Express, Swift. I don't. I, I don't know either. You know, those. Don't count them out though. That's that's what I would say. Don't don't count them out. I just got a ticket in Indianapolis for speeding and being in the wrong lane. How serious is this? I am going to I am going to fight it. I was speeding at 10, but the officer said I was speeding at 20. And he said that the truck don't even go over 65 so you got a ticket right that's that's what you say you got a ticket well if you got a ticket in indianapolis and and it's being in the wrong lane i'm gonna i'm gonna tend to think that you was in the left lane because indianapolis is heavy on drive truck drivers not being in that left lane if you're in that left lane let's say if you go in the in the left lane to pass a truck and you don't pass that truck within that amount of time and that and that smokey back there sees you or oh, he's he's going to catch you now you said that your truck don't go over 65 there's a you know the speed limit was probably 45 at the time you know so you already you already admitted that you you was doing 10 and by the way never ever ever admit anything when you get pulled over for a traffic stop that'll be in the future video watch out for that one but never admit anything uh at a traffic stop just give them your information just say thank you sir no sir thank you sir bam bam boom go to court try to fight it and try to win it make sure you get a good lawyer too but anyway um you said you said the cop said you were speeding so if you was doing 65 then and the cop says you was doing 20 then the speed limit might have been 45 for that little stretch right there so how serious it is it's not that serious per se you know if you get lucky enough to get a lawyer that can that can fight the charges for you probably get them down you know, get them dropped down to a lesser charge so it won't affect your driver's license or points or anything like that. But if you don't and you just go and pay, yeah, that's going to be on your MVR. That's going to affect your driving record. That's going to affect your that report. And, uh, and yeah, so if you're going to fight it, fight it, bro. Fight it, bro. What's the next question, man? What's the next question? So here's one. Uh, he just said, just a quick question. I'm waiting to start my company and for some reason they keep pushing my orientation well i made up my mind that if they pushed it back again i'm going to start looking elsewhere so does anyone know any companies that will hire a reckless driving ticket one accident and can't train thanks everyone in advance Woo! that's kind of serious bro that's now that right there now the last question about getting the ticket for being in the left lane and for speeding isn't isn't that serious but this one right here kind of is kind of is so 
my opinion it's just my opinion and that's all it is my opinion but this you know i have talked with drivers that been in many situations like this that's what you don't want you don't want a reckless ticket at all period actually you don't want any tickets you you want a clean mvr but definitely you don't want no reckless driving ticket that's going to be hard you you got a reckless driving ticket and a accident ticket and if, if it was in that if it was in that first year or two yeah it's going to be hard for you to get a get in with a trucking company bro. uh even even a trucking company that's training i i will probably say try swift maybe yeah i mean you know that's just that's just pulling you know what i'm saying that's 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 just pulling at something uh i would uh i i would pro Damn, there we go i i would think that that swift will probably be the best way to go uh, i know you probably might not want to go that route but swift probably might be the best way to go man because anywhere else like you know like small mom and pop firms and some some other legit trucking companies i, I really don't think they're gonna they're gonna give you a chance at driving one of their trucks bro but uh whatever it is good luck in finding it man but like i said just just try give swift a try and see if they'll be able to bring you on maybe covenant try try them too try them too next question bro Next question. Keep it coming, man. Keep it coming. Yeah, I I don't know. I I do not know. I I agree with you. I I agree with you. That's that's gonna be a real tough one right there, buddy. That's gonna be a tough one. So of course we're gonna keep on moving. We got we got we got plenty of questions that uh that we both found on Facebook and you guys in the subscriber comments and also in our DMs. You know what I'm saying? Plus. You guys fill me up with questions in the uh, in the uh, Gmail, but I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. You want to hit me up or hit myself up back there? Hit us up at lockoutmen at gmail.com or lockoutmen on IG and hit us up in the DM. Or if you could go to the Facebook group, um, make the call, lockoutmen make the call Facebook group. Go there. Uh, sign up there and you can ask your questions there too so if they're if if they are good of course I'm gonna make a segment of it you know let's get back to the question if a truck is parked on the shoulder for whatever reason and is struck by another car or another truck who's at fault that's a good question. <laughs> you know, now I'm going to tell you guys what happened to me. All right. So I I got a call from one of my co-workers and she was having a problem with the Qualcomm. So I decided to pull over to the shoulder. You know what I'm saying? I, I pulled over to the shoulder and, you know, got, got into the shoulder far enough to, you know, so I could talk to her on the phone because I didn't want to drive because I wanted to. What she was asking me, I had to pretty much follow along on the Qualcomm. So I'm I'm talking to her, we yada yada, chalking, chat, bad, bam, boom, boom. And then all of a sudden, bam, my mirror went flying off. Like, I'm like, God damn it. So I'm like, man, somebody just popped off my mirror, didn't even pull over to the side. They didn't even get out to see if I was hurt or anything like that. It's luckily I wasn't getting out at that time but uh you know I get up you know I get back up to the terminal they fix my they, they fix my mirror but I had to go in and talk to the safety department now at that time before when I tell you guys you know going into safety is never a good thing <laughs> you know what I'm saying except for my company where I'm at now but but back then going into safety was never a good thing and uh at that time uh, safety director sat me down and said, hey, Sean, uh, explain to me what happened uh, doing, you know, when when your mirror got knocked off. And, I, you know, I had the video because, you know, I had the uh, 
I, you know, I had the video. I brought out my dash cam video. And I was telling him I was talking with a co-worker, yada, 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 and then I got hit. So he said, well, where were you when you got hit? I said, I was on the side of the shoulder. I said, I didn't want to drive while I was, you know, I didn't want to drive and try to talk her through what was her problem was. So he said, well, okay, first thing first, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to commend you for what you did. You know, you, you, was, at, you was offering help, and I really do appreciate that you pulled over to stop to give that help. But. You shouldn't have stopped on shoulder, all right? Shoulders are for emergency purposes only, only, only. So if you want to pull over to the side and talk, you can't do that. If you want to pull over to the side and do whatever, you can't do that. It has to be broken down situation. Your, your truck has to be in a situation in order for you to pull over to the shoulder. Other than that, if you pull over to the shoulder for whatever reason, you're not supposed to. Now, I never thought that. I mean, you know, I pull over to the shoulder all the time while I was in my personal vehicle. But I guess it's kind of different in a, in, a, in a commercial vehicle. But who was that fault? It, it wasn't my fault that, that, the, uh, that the driver clipped my mirror. You know, of course, it was the driver's fault for veering over, veering over, clipping my mirror and then veering back. But I guess what 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 the safety direct director was trying to tell me at the time was that if I wasn't there, that wouldn't have happened. So to this question right here that that myself up there asked. If, uh, if a truck was parked on the shoulder for whatever reason and it's hit by another truck or a car, whose fault is it? it? It really depends on the situation. Now, if you get hit from behind, then automatically it's the, it's the person that hits you from behind fault. Excuse me. They should have been paying attention. They should have saw you on the side of the road. They should have known that you was there. Okay, that's... That's my that's my mode of thinking but if you was on the shoulder for anything other than an emergency or something like that then of course the 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 officials is going to look at it that if you wasn't there the car wouldn't have got in the accident so that's a fine gray line right there you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm going with that? It's a fine gray line with that. They're going to say that if you wasn't there, if you wasn't there, then I don't think, I don't think that the accident would have happened. So it, it just depends on the situation. So if you was broken down legitimately, and you know, you had your flares out, your triangles out, your your flashers on, and then boom, you get hit from the back. Then of course it's gonna be the car or the truck that hit you is gonna be at fault. But if you didn't have none of that, and if you just pulled over for like sleeping or taking your 30 or something like that, then the officials is gonna try, is gonna try their damnedest to make it your fault. So just be careful out there. Just just be careful out there, man. You know what I'm saying? When you drive and you got a phone call coming up or something like that and you have to answer the phone, make sure you get off the ramp, off the ramp or at a rest station and do your thing there. Do your thing there. What's the next question? All right, here's another one for you. We're going to keep it moving. I, I like this train that we're on right now, man. This, these questions, I think, will be helpful for a lot of people out there. Who's some of the most decent companies to work for as far as decent pay per mile, being supportive, and really family-oriented company? Now that's a good question. Now that's <laughs> that's a good question. What what companies out here that that are most decent that's offered decent pay and in, in, in home time? Well look, the simple answer for me to you is yo, check out my make the call videos. I got season one, two, and three is now available. 
season four for 2020 is coming up soon man so check check out everybody that i have called in my in my call videos to uh make up your mind on what company that you feel that is decent now it's all about you it's all about you all right it's all about you it's all about how you want to be treated by that company so if you feel covenant is a good company for you that treats you well then get with covenant if you feel us express is a good company to you know that it get that that works out for you get with us express you know what i'm saying it's all about how you feel you know make sure you just do your research you know just do your research on all the trucking companies because there is a lot there is a lot that offers you know decent home time decent pay and and supportive of the driver you know that's you, you just it's going to take a while it's going to take a while so just do that okay just do that and you you'll come across you'll come across your own answer for this question here's one about roadmasters now of course myself back there did a video about roadmasters and uh and then realized that it was owned by warner you know warner enterprises warner warner enterprises the trucking company hell i didn't even know that they was owned by warner enterprises but you know you keep that's that's the purpose of doing your homework and in any field that you're in keep doing your homework about about stuff that's going on out here roadmasters i have an auto restriction class a i currently have a choice between two companies May Trucking Company and Covenant Transportation. Which would you choose and why? From what I'm seeing, Covenant pays more, but I am going, but am I going to get the miles though? So you just graduated Roadmasters. Man, Roadmasters, I, you right, bro. I did not know that, that Warner Enterprises owns Roadmasters driving school, man. I just did a I just did a video on on that, so check that out. That should be linked somewhere. But uh, to your question, brother man, you have a choice between May and Covenant. Just as I said in the previous question, I mean previous answer, do your homework and find out which one will work for you. You know what I'm saying? If May Trucking is offering you something better than Covenant Transport is, then try Covenant, I mean, just try May Company, uh, May Company, May Trucking. If Covenant, again, on the flip side, if Covenant offering you the same thing, then try Covenant. Now, you said that Covenant pays more, but is you going to get the miles? That's, that's kind of a... That's kind of a sticky subject because if they pay more than nine times out of ten, you might not get it get as many miles. But if you go with May Trucking and they offer the May uh, the more miles, then you might not get paid more. You see what I'm saying? It's a balancing act that these trucking companies do out here. They they entice you with with more cent per mile, and then when you get with that company, the mile sucks. You only gonna get like. 1500 or two or 2000 miles or something less than that you know what i'm saying you probably might be sitting for for 34 hours two 34 hours in a week you might be doing that you know what i'm saying so sometimes you gotta read between the lines you know what i'm saying you gotta read between the lines there sir read between the lines if one company is offering you something that is too good to be true then nine times out of eight i mean out of ten it is too good to be true you know what i'm saying so you gotta do your research you gotta keep your eyes open for the prize you feel me you feel me if you keep your eyes open and keep doing what you're doing and researching then you'll find whatever company that'll work out for you and you you got a restrictive class a in the future try to get that off your license because if you want if you want to get with a better company and they don't drive autos and they only have manuals you 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 messing yourself up son 
All right. Now, I know majority of these companies are going automatic fleets, but some of them are staying manual. So try to get that off your try to get that off your license. bro. Now, you know what? I think we should do a, a make the car video on uh, on May trucking and Covenant. I think we should add those to uh, to season four. So, yeah. So I, I think we're going to add those to season four. Now here's a good one, man. Here, here is a truly, truly good question. And this one came from the Facebook group. They want, they want to know, why doesn't anyone help rookies with backing in? We were all new once. Someone helped you when you was backing in. He want to know why, why that it is so many uh, rookies out here that needs help, but nobody is willing to help them. Yo, I, I feel you on that right there. There's a lot of these drivers, old school drivers, just like to get their phones out. They love to get their phones out and record your backing struggles, man. They love doing that. They love getting that good old camera out and backing up and sitting there critiquing your problem. Oh man, look at that guy right there. He having a problem. <laughs> Come on there, driver. Come on. How long you been? How long you been driving out here? <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Instead of instead of doing that, you you wasn't. You wasn't born with, 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 with trucking in your veins. You know what I'm saying? You didn't come out of your mama's womb. I know you said that. Uh, you, you did not come out of your mama's womb and say, I'm ready to be a truck driver out here. No, you, you went to school. Whether you went to school or not, you still, somebody taught you, period. Somebody taught you how to, how to drive a, uh, how to drive a big rig whether it was your father grandfather grandfather's father father and whatever whatever down the line that you have came from somebody taught you how to drive how to back up properly how to get your set up so if you see a rookie out here help them out pay it for it pay it for it Get out of the truck. Hey, driver, hold on. Let me let me give you a hand. Let me spot you right quick. You know, you got a little, you, you about to get into a little situation. Come on, drivers. Help, let's help these rookies out. And maybe, 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 maybe we can make them, maybe we can make them better drivers and we won't, we won't be seeing none of these so-called Swift videos. You know what I'm saying? Next question. Yo, how many questions we got, man? Yeah, you know, you're right, you're right. See, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people that came out in this game, they, they wasn't born into trucking. They didn't come out of their mother's womb and, and started driving the truck. They got schooled, they got trained. They had problems when they was backing up. They was once in a situation that a new rookie is in now. They experienced all that. So why not help them? You know, pay it forward. You know what I'm saying? Pay it forward. Here's another good one. And this one, this one is from, uh, is, is from the Facebook group too. Why is it you have to pay a receiver for them to unload their product? Man, listen, let me tell you something about these lumpers, man. I do have a video about that, by the way, too. Look, <laughs> it's a racket. <laughs> Point blank simple, it's a racket. My 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 opinion on the situation, my 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 opinion on the situation is this. I think now that I now that I've been in the business for for a good while, all right, and I see how some of these warehouses work. A lot of these warehouses outsource the the unloading of their product. You know, they outsource the unloading. They gotta they gotta pick it. They gotta track it. They gotta count it. And, and the company 
that we're delivering to like like some of these grocery chains they don't they want to save money and by them and by the way they save money is by outsourcing uh by outsourcing the people to unload it and i think i think the major people that they outsource it to is capstone if i'm not mistaken but uh but yeah they they outsource to they outsource the unload into an outside company so they don't have to pay their employees or benefits or workmen's costs it's a, it's a cost savings thing point blank simple and i i learned that you know while being in this game i i thought it was a racket i i really i still do think it's a racket lump paying lumper fees and stuff like that it's a racket you know I'm a truck driver. I get paid to drive. I don't get paid to touch your freight. <laughs> I don't get paid to uh, unload your freight. When I bring it to you, it's up to you to get your freight off my trailer. I, I don't do that. Now, I don't know how that works, how, how that is worked in for the driving company, because of course they're going to work it in. We're going to have to pay it, but then, you know, dead for whatever reason the the company will negotiate okay well we paid this amount for a lumper fee we want to get reimbursed for that whatever i don't know i'm just a driver i don't do the logistics sides of things next question it's a racket i'm telling you lumper is a racket it's racketeering all right bro this is the last question and it is as always a j and r swoogle question Man, listen, I, I know you was the I know you was the man over there, you know, and and everybody, everybody that's been following you or us, you know, should already know that you're with a new company and should all and should already know that you're not messing with Jay and Arshugo no more. But majority of the questions that this man get is about Jay and Arshugo. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and read the question, let him answer it. And uh, and yeah, and and probably and probably he might give you some tips on J and R Schwugel because he and I is no longer there at J and R Schwugel. So here's the question. All right, what happened with you? What happened with you at J and R Schwugel, bro? I just started orientation and they said you wasn't there no more. It kind of hurt my feelings because you was the reason why I came. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> oh, well, I am, I, I am so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I really, I really do appreciate you guys still coming at me with the J and R Schroeder uh, questions. Uh, can I, can I say this right quick? All right. There's plenty of videos that I have done. Just go back into my archives and and read. Uh, I mean, and watch all the videos that I have done about Jane Marshall. Um, I appreciate that you use me as a reference of coming to coming to Jane Marshall. At the time, at the time, like I said before, Jane Marshall really was good to me. Uh, I had an excellent fleet manager. That's that what made that what made J and R Schwugel what it was for me because of the fleet manager. So uh, every time I mention the fleet manager, I'm going to say thank you for that because my time there with the fleet manager was off. I mean, was was awesome. Later, unfortunately, later down the line after my fleet manager has quit, uh, it's sort of it's sort of got a little a little I, i'm i'm looking for the word but i can't find it right now but it it got a little it, it got a little a little hesitant because i was put with a fleet manager that me and her really wasn't vibing well and it was it was really affecting it was affecting me mentally it was affecting me financially and i i was just you know i, I was just beginning to be upset not with the company per se, but with the with the situation that I was in. All right. Now the company itself, there is some good people at the company. Um, 
Katie, the recruiter, definitely talk with her. She's awesome. If you have any questions or anything like that about the company, she will be the best person to talk to about the company. So definitely get with Katie. I don't know about anybody else, but Katie, she's she's a real down to earth, honest. Uh, she's a real down to earth, honest recruiter. So if you really want to know about uh, JNR Schwugel, definitely talk with her. Um, John, uh, I forgot his last name. John Euchert. John Euchert, the uh, refrigerated uh, divisional manager. Awesome guy. Awesome guy. I mean, he went out of his way. Uh, I, unfortunately, I was in one situation with, uh, with, uh, with JNR Schwugel at the time. He, as well as others, band together to, you know, to keep me, to keep me out of the situation that I was in at that time. So, John Euchre, he's a great guy to talk to. Um, we actually, we was in the midst of trying to, you know, switch me, you know, with another uh, fleet manager, but... Of course, you know, at that time, he was like super, super duper, duper busy. And, you know, I, you know, like I said, I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to keep coming at him with my issues with the fleet manager. Um, that's John Euchre. Check him out. Um, uh, Courtney, the HR, I want to say she's an HR, yeah, Courtney. She's a good lady to talk to if you want to know about anything about HR related stuff there. Definitely she will be the one to talk to. Uh let's see, let's see. And there's there's a few other people at that company that, you know, that if you get to know them, you, if you get to know them, your your time there will be good. But unfortunately for me, um uh, unfortunately for me, uh I was offered <laughs> I was offered a better situation for me and my family, so that's why I, that's that's why I chose the route that I chose uh, chose with leaving J and R Uh No animosities against the company. The company is still well. They're still a good company to get with if you're you know you're coming out of school or something like that, and you want to start. They do have local. They do have regional. They do have over the road. Uh, drive-in, uh, drive-in, and reefer. So, still give them, you know, give them a call. I probably season four. I will probably do a, a, a updated call video so I can get, you know, some better, some some updated information for you guys uh, with Jay and Ashwagandha. But thank you. <laughs> Your feelings doesn't have to be hurt, man. But thank you, though. I really do appreciate you guys. Still using me as a reference to go with JNR Schwugel. But I am no longer at JNR Schwugel. <laughs> okay. JNR Schwugel, no longer there. Pretty much in a pretty much in the rear view. The company where I'm at now, if if you want to know about the company where I'm at now, and if you live in Ohio, because this is it, the company I'm with now is an Ohio-based company, and they only hire out of Ohio. Um, unless you're doing frat sand, because we got, we got frat sand and I think it will be picking back up in, um, in, in January, I think. But if you, if you doing tankers, if you have your tankers endorsement and you, you want to get down in the oil, oil fields, then get with me, you know, hit me up in the email and I can get you in contact with, with the recruiter at the company I'm with. But if you want to just do regular drive-in or flatbed work or or anything like that, and we do run hazmat, get with me. I'll let you know, and I'll I'll switch you over to the uh, to the uh, to the recruiter. All right. But unfortunately, my new company I'm not going to promote on Facebook. So if you want, I mean Facebook or YouTube. So if you want to know more about the company I'm with, and you're from Ohio. Then get with me in a in a in a Gmail. Uh, you can call me. I'll leave you my phone number. You could chat. You know, chop it up with me, and um, we'll go from there. So, but thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Well, that's all the questions I have. Uh, that's all the questions I have. That's all the questions I found uh, on Facebook. If you guys have any more questions or anything like that, definitely get at us. Uh, you can leave it in the comments. You can Gmail me. All right, y'all, I'll take it from here. So thank you guys for joining me, joining me, well, us. Thank you for joining us today in, the, in round two of questions, uh, Q and A's from, uh, from subscribers and from the Facebook. So definitely, I really do appreciate you guys coming along. If you like videos like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this, man. Thank you very much. Me, Lockout Men, myself, Lockout Men, Yo, thanks for joining us today. I really do appreciate it. You got yo, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about a new segment coming for uh for next year where I will probably give drivers the opportunity to uh to call and we could set up a inter, you know, set up a set up a time time or, you know, day or a time so you know, we can talk to each other live on YouTube you know, about your experiences and stuff like that or any tips and tricks you guys want to offer and y'all want to just chop it up with me. I will probably start something like that next year. It depends on what I'm doing and where I'm at. You see what I'm saying? So be on the lookout for that, all right? With all that said, we are gone. We're going to come at you at another video. Lockout, men, and I am out. Peace.